Yes, sir. Uh, my name is Pastor James Giles. I'm the CEO and President of Back to Basics Outreach Ministries, as well as the Administrator of Stop the Violence Coalition, where a lot of our program, programs deal with the quality of life for young people in our programs. Uh, one of the things uh, that was brought out here today is that uh, let's kind of deal with the source. Uh, first of all, I want to say that I, I support this wholeheartedly because I'm dealing with some of the pain and suffering of individuals that are addicted to cigarettes, actually. Uh, uh, and one of the things I wanted to point out is that uh, in dealing with trying to deal with the source, just like when people are dealing drugs illegally on the street, sometimes we can't get to the people that's bringing it in. We have to confront the individual that's dealing. We have to arrest that character because that is the character that introduces directly connected to the community and involving the community in that act. Uh, so the stores, unfortunately, are the front line for the tobacco industry. So those are the, where we have to address it at. Now we have young people, and my problem specifically is that uh, a lot of these stores sell cigarettes to young people. Uh, they don't respect and don't regard the age limits or age required. If they were doing it responsibly, then uh, Councilmember Smith probably would have never had to introduce such a legislation if they were doing it responsibly. And what this initiative is about is getting them to start advertising responsibly. Uh, we must begin to take into consideration when they're uh, adulterating a young generation and addicting them for life. Cigarette smoking, I run a substance abuse program and, and it's, I've, we've been doing this for 20 years and I'm able to, through the grace of God, help people to get delivered from crack. But yet they cannot for the life of them stop smoking. For the life of them. You, we've had an American Cancer Society and other people come in to do presentations. They cannot drop those cigarettes now. And we're introducing this to our young people and, and we cannot afford not to look at this. Uh, here it is, uh, they don't have enough money to do anything. And I have young people stealing from their parents to buy cigarettes. And when if they start that activity, now they're gonna start stealing from your house. And then you, you will begin to see, once they start doing that stuff, it's hard to stop. We have to begin to do something and, and it's gonna take a lot to try to correct some of the ills of society. Uh, but this is one other step in the right direction. And I implore you to begin to enact this. Uh, this is good for our community. It is good for the residents of our community, but it is certainly going to be good for our youth.